Hi, Neil Evans with the Harkin Tech team. <laughs> We're here to talk about our ever-expanding Zircon line. Um, Matt, why don't you come in here? Matt's one of our engineers here at Harkin and is the product lead on this category of blocks. Matt, can you fill us in on what's going on with the Zircon line? So Zircon is our, our lowest friction block, lowest friction bearing design that we've offered in, in any of our, our small boat products. Um, We've got our whole product offering here on the bench, um, all 18 products that are currently available in 29, 40, and 57 mil sizes. How many did we initially start with? So initially it was the 57s and the 40s, and the singles, single with Beckett, double, and double with Beckett. Our most recent addition is the full family of 29 mil blocks in singles, doubles, and triples, along with adding the triples in the 57 and 40 mil sizes. Explain what Zircon is and what makes Zircon Zircon. It's the bearing itself. Um, if you look, compare these two, you've got seven or eight balls, depending on the size of Zircon block, with these tiny ceramic bearings, where the comparable carbo block has somewhere from 40 to 50 ball bearings in Dalrin plastic. Um, so the, the bearing itself is that much harder, stronger, durable compared to the Dalrin product. Um, the other part of the bearing is the outer race, the, the white bit of ceramic and the inner race, also a white bit of ceramic and those three polished surfaces between the inner race, outer race, and the ball bearing provide the smoothest feel, and, and that's what you actually tangibly can feel with your hand. These balls, they, they're ultra smooth. They're polished clean, and that's what really removes the friction from them. But we put 40 or ish or so in a 40 mil carbo block. Um, why so few? in a 40 millimeter zircon block? There's a couple reasons there. One is the materials itself. The ceramic materials are very hard um, compared to the Delrin um, or any of the other plastic bearings we use. Um, because it's so hard, you don't need six balls to do the job of one. The other reason for fewer balls is when we designed the blocks initially, we said, well, for the singles especially, how much load can you hold in your hand? What, what would you say, 50, 75, maybe if I'm two hands and Cons two feet, I can hold 100 pounds? Consistently. But yeah, I'm, certainly not, I'm certainly not pulling the 750 pound catalog load of a 57 carbo block but I can hold 50 pounds, 100 pounds. So we took all of that extra out and, and really matched. When you look at the catalog brake loads and working loads, that's why they may look a little different and a little lower than you may think, because they're matched for trimming with handheld loads compared to a winch trimmed, winch loaded block. So because we, we really matched the Zircon product around handheld loads and taking all the extra capacity that, and the extra weight of the product out, um, that, that really gives you the, the performance aspect of these blocks over a Carbo product. So should I be replacing everything I have in Carbo with Zircon? No, I don't think that's the case. There's no one block that's perfect for every application across the whole product line. So one thing I've always noted with these is that we only offer them in soft attached versions. Um, can you explain why we went with that design aspect to it and what the thinking behind that was? Yeah, Neil, that's right. The, the, Zir the whole Zircon product offering is only available in soft attached product. Um, kind of going with hand in hand with the removing what we don't need. Um, if you're going to have a, a piece of Dyneema or other high performance line 
that you're splicing anyways, why would you have a shackle? Let's, let's tailor the blocks to reduce the weight. Um, take out everything you don't need. Same goes for the rivets. We didn't feel that the weight of a rivet was, I won't say it's not important, because it's certainly important how a carbo block is designed, but we had other ways to hold the block together um, and relying on the line to help provide some of that performance as well. So what is the feedback then from the... Um, all good so far. Um, it's, Zircon is all about the feel of, of how your sheet, how your sails um, really interact with your hand. Um, taking any of that extra friction, putting all that feedback into your hand rather than losing it through a block.